Dear learner, in this lecture, we are going to learn about overturning moment. Where, when we go for a design or uh, we go for analysis, then a stability of a structure is very important. And in our figure, you may see that when we apply lateral force with respect to our base, it will give us a moment it's we all know that force with respect to distance will give us with respect to perpendicular distance will give us a moment and uh, when it will give us moment then center of gravity of that total structure will move in that side right we all know that moving that side so when it will move in that side no not will be actually then it will collapse or it will overturn okay so uh, here also you may uh, see that when we will uh, apply earthquake load or ruin load a story by a story then a over overturning will be uh, created with respect to base and it will try to overturn our structure and our structural stability is not okay then it may fail so in this lecture we are going to uh, check about stability of our structure uh, for uh, overturning moment that our structure is okay or not here uh, you all already know that a 50 story building already we are designing uh, this is our last check and uh, here uh, to check the structure i will use this excel sheet if you need that excel sheet you may visit our uh, description it's available on our resources okay now first of all we need level so for that i will just come here and uh, I'll come here design uh, sorry analysis then i'll go for a structure output then i'll go a structure force first of all for which case we need to find out that uh, overturning moment let's say i'll go for earthquake so where is your earthquake here e a x earthquake then for who is a step we know for earthquake we have three step uh, if we provide eccentricity so uh, from one to three you can take any step if, if you knew here you may watch our previous lecture that uh, link or playlist link given in our description and here top or bottom uh, we will we'll go for top so here uh, we can see our structure is okay now uh, we have to uh, find out the value with if descending and ascending so i'll click here and i'll go ascending i'll take all of our structure a history name control c i'll paste it here and already you know our structure height is here 8 and the another history is 10 feet okay now we need a story force for vx and vi uh for earthquake or wind load for uh, and, and for x or y direction so uh, as we are going for earthquake here a story force share i will uh, find that value where will get that value see here vx this is the study or share force now this is the, uh to get the share force i mean uh, uh, here the given share force is nothing but a cumulative value so what i'll do i'll right click here and i'll go descending and um, we'll get the value from top to bottom so um, if we get that value in this way it will be very easy or it will be very uh, convenient way to find out that value so i'll copy that value press ctrl c come here and take a new sheet and just paste it here or paste it here okay so uh, first of all we have to uh, uh, find out each share force um, each story share force as this is a cumulative value then we'll go for our next step i mean we'll rotate it from top to bottom uh, as we have taken that value i mean as uh, our story level we have to take that value now i'll come here and write it from that value to that value then equal to that value minus this value okay 
and simply double click here see this is our value now i'll copy that value control c i'll paste that value as a i mean i'll uh, paste it as a value and then uh, i'll take one and two select and double click so uh then actually here we'll rotate it i mean uh, we'll go from top to bottom in direction so 16 will be in top and one will be in bottom as we need the data like that so then go here and click here short largest to smallest see 16 in top and on is bottom now simply copy that value and come here and paste it here okay so when we have uh, inputted our value we found our overturning moment Double click here to see it. This is our base share, and this is our overturning moment. Okay, so when we got our overturning moment, then we can see here this is a total overturning moment of our structure and a building weight or sum of all dead loads. Okay, we have to take that value building weight or sum of all dead load, and for where we'll get that value, I'll close it. then i'll go to here based uh joint output from analysis joint output then uh, reaction then joint reaction show table from here for hot which load we need uh i mean for which load we have to find out this value this is for all dead load so here dead load you know that this is a dead load combination dead load for all dead load actually and uh, we are here we can see that for dead load this is our value of fz because we have to find out that well i'll copy all of them done then control c and go to excel sheet go to new sheet and paste this value here and equal to sum and from here bracket close here i'll copy that value and i'll come here and paste it as a value so when it's done now we need uh, another value what is this this is the distance of mass center along x or y direction or y direction okay so when we'll go for x direction then x direction when we'll go for y direction then y direction where we'll get that close it and um, here in other output frame here center of mass and rigidity and you may say here two value okay so this is for x and this is for y so as we are working for x then we'll take the smallest value but always remember that now for a smallest value we'll get a smallest factor of safety and for higher value we'll get higher factor of safety so that's why we have to take a smallest value and uh, remember one thing suppose you have a lift our lift core uh, has here so for our terrace we got our uh, center of mass in 43.37 feet away from that point in x direction but if uh, we define or we draw a, a lift core in that side then we may uh, got very less uh, value so for that we'll uh, i mean uh, in that time we'll ignore that okay and for top story actually for top story or for uh, that terrace value we may also ignore so uh, from here from that point to that point i mean the another uh rest story will take from there so uh, we can see the smallest value is 40.96 i'll just come here 40.96 and we can see that this is our factor of safety 7.56 and it's a uh, allowable limit of our factor of safety is 1.5 so i think it's okay for our i mean uh for our structure in this way you have to find out your uh, overturning moment 
that your structure is okay or not and we are seeing that our overturning uh, safety is almost 7.5 times okay so uh it's done and uh if you want to check for another step or another direct x direction y direction for earthquake wind load you may do it like that so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next lecture